We will understand today what is operational risk. As the name suggests, operational risk is risk arising from operational incidents. Okay? And the definition according to Basel is that the risk of direct or indirect loss resulting from inadequate or failed internal processes, people, systems and external events. So the loss arising from the operational incidents which could come from internal processes, from people, from IT systems, from any other external events resulting in loss of money is known as operational risk. Right. So there are a few things that we talked here, right? Where uh, we're talking about risk coming from the processes, people, systems. Uh, so all these things are uh, risk related to some events, right? So operational risk is event risk. Okay. It is always associated with some sort of event, whether it's related to people, process, or IT system. So what are those events, right? With respect to people. Uh, While well, people working in the bank, they might commit fraud, right? Even uh, outsider might commit fraud. That's also could be uh, an issue. A cyber attack could be an issue. Error, right? Human judgment error, right? Uh, an analyst uh, could make an error while uh, while working in a bank, right? Uh, while uh, doing uh, his activities. So that's uh, human error. So that is one kind of operational risk and then you have processes right you could uh, be in compliant with the different process uh, in compliant with the different regulations and that is also uh, some kind of operational risk because you are in breach of the regulations and then it system i think most of the uh, operational uh, most of the operational incident stem from it system these days because it systems are vulnerable to a cyber attack vulnerable to all kinds of issues okay it could be a system failure it could be a bug in the code in the software code or it could be an external party or uh, someone outside of the bank is attacking the uh, bank's system or it could be even data loss right data loss is also a, uh, an operational incident okay so these incident uh, contribute towards what is known as uh, operational risk and you lose money out of that uh, is the loss due to operational uh, incidents. All right, so why does this happen? Well, operational risk can be controlled uh, by many ways, but first we need to understand why operational risk incidents happen. It's because of lack of control. Right? Many times there's simply not good control in the, in the bank. Okay, they're not checks and balances. And then you have organizational deficiency. Uh, the organizational is not properly set up. There is no way to uh, sort of audit uh, what is going on. Uh, there is no, uh, what is known as a, a 4i principle where, you know, somebody will review the work done by somebody else. Okay, so that kind of uh, a setup is, is missing out uh, in the bank. So that's the organizational deficiency where you do not have a proper organizational setup and no one uh, is accountable for the for the activities uh, being done so accountability is very important when it comes to uh, having a good uh, organizational uh, structure and then you have outdated or faulty it system right that could happen right if you haven't updated your it system it is uh, it is likely that it will fail at some point and you'll be losing data and so on and so forth if the backup hasn't been taken, right, the backup for the data, then you will uh, lose the data altogether. Um, and if you're writing new software and you are not testing it properly within the bank, then uh, yeah, it is likely to cause operational risk incident uh, later. And then you have management deficiency. Sometimes what happens is that employees uh, within the bank they uh, do a lot of activities which are uh, in compliant uh, with regulations uh, and managers do not look after these in uh, these activities because of because of well they're simply not uh, able to do that that's the deficiency and it results uh, in um, operational risk incident and many companies have paid a huge fine because of the, such incidents how do you overcome these problems well automation is one good way 
to sort of overcome the uh, well the incidents coming out of from the people and processes uh, for example uh, instead of um, instead of uh, let's say copying uh, some of the numbers uh, manually if you do that automatically through softwares and you test it rigorously before you deploy it in production then you know a lot of these issues can be overcome because then the typos and the human error that uh, one would make uh, will will not be will not be the case because you know automation takes care of that software takes care of that and then analytics and models this is a very famous so you can use database uh, analytics uh, and, and and models uh, in order to predict the operational risk incident and then take precautionary measure before it happens and then finally timely audit right so whatever is happening within the bank it's important that uh, there is the audit department audits everything that is happening going on okay and then uh, the good thing with that is that people will be then be extra conscious of what they're working on and there will be a proper check a proper evaluation of what's uh, going on uh, otherwise if there is no audit there is no audit uh, uh, so yeah people are simply careless or tend to be careless so these are some of the ways in which uh, we can avoid operational risk incidents happening in a bank